Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a tire rotation on my Tesla Model 3 Performance. Because it's all wheel drive, I'm gonna use the rearward cross method. And I'm gonna show you guys what tools you need and what tools are nice to have. But before we get started, don't forget that that shiny red subscribe button down below. Don't worry, I'll wait. And do keep in mind there are a lot of tire shops that do this for free or do it at a low cost. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, please don't do it because this can potentially get dangerous since you're lifting the car. So these are the parts that you actually need. You need a low profile jack. You need a jack pad. This one's by Reverse Logic, specifically made for the Model 3. They make them for the other Teslas as well. This is a jack stand by Safe Jack. This is the breaker bar that you're gonna use to loosen up the lug nuts. It takes a 21 millimeter. I got the non-marring kind. And you need a torque wrench that can handle up to 129 foot-pounds of torque. These are the nice to have, so you have the torque limiting extension bar set. I'm only going to use the 120 foot-pounds, so you really only need something that's less than 129 foot-pounds. The knee pads, which are really nice if you're working on concrete or something like that. Uh, impact wrench, this one is going to make life a lot easier to take out the lug nuts. And I actually have three other safe jacks, so I'm actually going to jack up the entire car. So these are actually the nice to haves, not absolutely necessary, but they do make the job easier. So let's get started. So before you begin, hold the park button for two seconds. That engages the parking brake, which you see here. So now you're ready to start. So before we jack up the car, we want to loosen up the lug nuts so when it's in the air, we can actually take them off. Obviously, you don't want to take off the lug nuts. You just want to loosen them up that initial part so we're going to use the breaker bar and we're going to use the socket the 21 millimeter socket and i follow a star pattern whether i'm doing this or tightening it that way i actually remember which ones i did so follow the same pattern for all the other wheels before you jack it up so the Model 3 has four jack points, so don't lift the car from anywhere else other than these jack points, just like the Model Y and the other Teslas. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys about an issue I had with the Model 3 Performance. So I have a low profile jack, but this is technically not low enough to fit underneath my car uh, with the safe jack. So I learned a trick. This shouldn't be a problem if you have a lower profile jack than this, or if you have a standard Model 3, because the Model 3 Performance I believe sits one centimeter lower than the other Model 3's. But the trick I found is if you actually jack it up with this jack pad and you lower it down, the car actually sits higher because the shocks don't come down as much and it actually easily goes underneath. So if you were going to use the reverse logic, you would basically just pop it in here and then bring your jack and then lift this up. See, this is what I mean. Now it fits easily. jacks are in place just slowly lower it okay one down ready to go
it is, folks. You can see how dirty that is on the inside, so we're gonna wipe this down. Also a good idea to clean the brake caliper. So I'm resting it on these comfy things so the rims don't actually scratch and obviously I'll never put them face down. But even from the back side, I rest it on that angled so it doesn't actually get scratched. That's the reason why I'm resting it on that. One other note, when you're taking off the lug nuts, sometimes they fall and it could actually put like a little ding on your rim. So I recommend when you're taking these out, take them out slowly at the end or kind of tilt it up so it doesn't fall. Now sometimes it falls, but you know, if you're actively watching because they put little, little dings on the rims and stuff. So if you want to avoid that, just take this off angled. Okay, so I'm going to clean, so I'm going to clean the calipers and then I'm going to put the other rim on and I'm actually gonna take this to the other side in fact let me take this to the other side right now so I don't get them mixed up Get it close, line up the holes, and lift. Okay, so you have two options. You could just use just a socket by itself, but this thing goes above 129. So even though it's in the air, I, I still play it safe. You could put the extension bar set, which goes up to 120, and you could just tighten it with this. And you don't have to go crazy. So now I could tighten it just a little bit. Once I lower it, I'm going to use the torque wrench to torque it down to 129 foot-pounds and the star pattern as well, and then at that point, then, we're done. So now comes the lowering part. <clears throat> Make sure these circles are lined up with it, so it's not like one's on a line and the other one's not. So make sure they both are sitting on the lower side, like this. So we can actually take off both sides at once. If I jack up one side, I can lift it up just a little high enough that I could take off both sides at once. So we're gonna do that. So I wanna show you guys that when you jack up this part, this part's actually off the ground as well. So you could just remove this. So that was easy. If you got this torque wrench, all you have to do is spin the bottom. And this allows you to adjust your torque wrench. So we want to get to 129. 
So we keep spinning this until we get to the 120 line and this line shows nine. So we just passed 120. So now we wanna to get to nine there and then tighten the bottom. So you see that we just passed the 120, 130 is the next line and we're at nine. So that's how you get to 129 foot pounds of torque. So once, once that's adjusted, put the socket in and you're gonna listen for a click. Again, do the start pattern. As you can see, I am tired. Click. 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 All right, so this one's done. Just put the cap on. Voila, this one's done. So just repeat the pattern for the other three and you're good to go. Okay guys, so that took about two hours, but to keep in mind I was filming. If I wasn't filming, I could probably do it in an hour, an hour and 15, but you always wanna make sure you're not in a rush when you're doing this because lifting up the car can potentially get dangerous. Now if you don't feel like doing this or you don't feel safe, please don't do it. Just take it to a tire shop. So there's a lot of tire shops to do it for free or at a low cost. So, you know, they could just do it while you relax, you know, sit in a nice AC room, watch some YouTube, watch my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it'll be nice. Now, a few things I learned while I was doing this. So this, I like this safe jack because, you know, you could jack it up in place and put the safe jack. So I really like that feature. In fact, that was really the reason why I bought this. This thing does not, exactly sit super flush on the ground but keep in mind my ground is close to leveled but not exactly leveled but you when you're doing this you want to be in a place where it's as leveled as possible so that's the place that I found but even with that it kind of sits more on the side so you see like the concrete scratched up this part and stuff but I wasn't too concerned about that so but if you're gonna be concerned about that, this will happen. So just, just something to keep in mind. You could really get away with getting just one of these or just like one, uh, you know, one jack stand. It's probably easier if you get four of these. Do you need four? No, you could still get away with one, but I would probably recommend at least two of these. I think with two, you should be okay because with one, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna constantly be taking it off and putting it back on. So. It's, it'll take a lot longer. This car is extremely rigid. When, when you're jacking it up, when you're lifting up the car, make sure if you have other jack stands in place, make sure that it's still gonna rest on those jack stands because sometimes it moves a little bit. So when you're lowering the car, make sure all the jack stands are, it's sitting in a way where it's actually gonna sit on that. So you don't wanna damage the car and you don't wanna hurt yourself and just in case if it doesn't sit properly and it falls. You know, bad things can happen, essentially. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my current subscribers. If you're not a current subscriber, it's very easy. Just hit that subscribe button down below. It's that shiny red button. You know you want to click it. So, other than that, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment sections below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Thank you.